What's up guys, it's MJ Nisa and welcome to a brand new video where today I'm gonna be ranking most of the KSI songs made a few years ago. It'll mainly be songs he made before the transformation in 2017, other than maybe a few from that time. Before we get started, like none of you are subscribed. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe and comment down below what kind of videos you want to see on this channel. The categories I'll be putting these songs in are Thank God It's Over, Shouldn't Have Been Released, Bang Average, Kinda slaps for the time and re Let's get into it. Starting with the one and only Heskey Time. This is technically Randolph's song, but let's be honest, nobody remembers that. How the hell did this song manage to effectively change the entire reputation of Emil Heskey in the years after he's retired is insane. I mean, for fuck's sake, Heskey has like the seventh most appearances in the Prem and more goals than bloody did he drop. But somehow his legacy is going to be an 18 year old KS talking about him having like no footballing ability. I think just for the impact it has itself it should be in the top 2 categories. But I don't think I can honestly put it in the top tier cause I mean let me just read out some of the lyrics. Bitch I'm Hesky, you don't want to mess with me. If you do, you're going to be my next anal recipe. I'm too quick for the sex offenders list. I be over that. Fucking hell. But I guess I'm gonna put in kind of slaps for the time. Next up, we have the one and only Lamborghini. The first real song JJ released all the way back in 2015. It's made with B Money and is currently the most viewed video on KSI's main channel. It's a hype song made because JJ was gassed he got a Lamborghini and it lives up to its cause as seen by the fact it still goes hard at every concert and festival despite how many years it's been since it was released and how many more mainstream songs JJ has made afterward. It almost has to be at the top out of the fact it's aged like wine in the years since so I'm gonna put in Reload <laughs> next featuring JME. You can really see that effectively all of JJ's soul music used to be just hype music. This is a pretty good song though for its purpose. JME smashes it, but I don't think it's really good enough to be in any of the top two categories. It isn't bad either, so I'm just gonna put it in bang average. Next up, I'm gonna be ranking Friends with Benefits, also known as FWB, with MNDM. JJ slaves this song so much, but I, it really isn't even half as bad as some of the other ones he's made. I mean, if it was made with someone like Anne Marie, I reckon he'd say it was a club banger and not his worst song. I mean, obviously that isn't exactly any kind of incredible wordplay, but then again, neither do most of JJ starting songs. He literally said big black man with banana tree in real name with Dahlia and Randolph, which was on his album like three years ago. But that being said, I can't really put it up above the last two sections, so I'm just gonna put it in shouldn't have been released. I'm gonna rank jump around next with Waka Flocka Flay which, in my opinion, is possibly JJ's worst song ever. Yes, even lower than Heskey Time, I'm on a Horse, and even the fucking Chemistry was better for its time. It was released after the likes of Keep Up, Lamborghini, FWB, etc. So it's not like he's never made any kind of music before this. And yet it's, it's just so bad. Like, JJ's trim looks like a paintbrush, and somehow that isn't even close to the worst part of this. So this is going to the absolute bottom of the pile, and thank God it's over. Now we get on to I'm on a Horse, a true classic of KSI tunes with beautiful lyrics such as I'm on a horse motherfucker, take a look at me. <laughs> it's probably the most representative song of the old KSI, I mean it's just jarring to put it simply. The song revolves around like two shots of JJ on a horse and for some reason he also talks about trying to fuck a horse. Which is just what? Also, he now seems to want to fight a horse, so I guess he's at least consistent with the fact he wants to beat a horse. I think at a service to keep up, I have to put it below it. So I'm gonna put it in shouldn't have been released. Despite how many memes you could make out of this. Next up is No Sleep, or at this point more known as Roberto Shaw's favourite KSI song. It's the oldest song on this list, I think, and it's pretty confusing in terms of how good it is. I don't think it's in Reloaded, but that's also mainly because Dupes kind of ruins Sway's verse. JJ starts the verse talking about Selena Gomez's breasts, 
but overall for the time he does pretty well so i'm going to put in kind of slaps for the time now i'm going to talk about the first song jt has ever made and i'm not talking about the first one he produced i'm talking about the first yes i'm going to rank the chemistry home work rap it's about as good as you'd expect a 15 year old rapping about chemistry could be it's insane to think that that person is going to be performing at wembley this year weirdly it's got better lyrics than i'm on a horse but then again that that was a very low bar to be better than i'm not going to put it in the lowest category cuz despite the fact it's mixed awfully and jt sounds like he's been rapping while being held hostage it is still better than champa round anyway that's going to be it from me guys make sure to comment down below if you agree or disagree with this list like the video subscribe for more and i'll see you guys later peace